What's going on, guys? It's your boy Terry by Reacts here, and I am back with another episode of Vikings Season 2, Episode 4 is here, and I am ready. I have to say, I am ready. I have a couple more shows to react to today, so let's just go ahead and just watch this episode, man. You guys know what's been happening, man. I'm glad that um, Lagertha, she is back. Lagatha. Lagatha. That's my girl right there. That's my girl. You know what I'm saying? Hands down the prettiest girl on the show. Hands down. Um, you know, then we have, you know, Ragnar's new wife, um, Princess. What is it? Princess L? I, I can't remember her name sometimes. Um, um. <laughs> I'm drawing blanks from everywhere right now, so I'm not even going to try to remember her name. You guys know who I'm talking about—the one that keeps giving her son. Last son, she she just she just had had a freaking serpent eye. I mean, she prophesied it that that's what's going to happen. So I'm wondering if she's some sort of oracle in some some regards. I don't know. I still don't know what her part is in the story yet. Is I'm at, um that she's providing Ragnar with a lot of sons. Now, this um, this son that she has now, what is his place now, now that he's born, he's so weird looking with, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he is weird looking, like you have a kid walking around with a freaking serpent eye, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just weird to look at. So I'm guessing, it's either one or two things. People are gonna be afraid of him, or he's gonna be obscured, which is one of the two things can, can can happen, but it's not gonna be. I don't see anything good um, happening, um, as in how this child is brought up. Yeah, they're gonna respect him because it's Ragnar's kid, but at the same time, he's probably going to be feared by, or even to the point of being worshipped. You never know. So I don't know much about Norse mythology. I, I, I you know, I don't know much about it. But I do know there's certain basic concepts that apply to pretty much all religions. So, so, um, so let's just go with that. We're gonna jump into this episode, man. I'm hyped to see what's happening. What, what is Bjorn going to do to this dude that's slapping, you know, this new um, Jarl? Is it Jarl? Is he a Jarl? I think he's a Jarl. <laughs> and now that um, y'all bored, you know what I'm saying, took the village and stuff like that, and have um, Rolo and the, the um, and Ragnar's kids and the wife running away from the village. Where are they gonna settle up? Um, you know, now we have this situation where the the um, what's going on, you know, over on the other side where where Ragnar and um, and the king is over there they're trying to figure out if they can come to some agreement but i don't know what's going on in ragnar's head you know what i'm saying does he really want to stay and coexist with this dude or it's just a plan to see what you, you know is it just something that they said just to see what his response is going to be this this um king that they're going up against so we'll see i'm guessing we're going to find that out in this episode so let's just go jump into it you already know what it is link is down in the description go watch a full reaction then come back here for the review i'll see you guys right back here for the review all right what's going on guys welcome back to the review season two episode four of vikings and i have to say man that was a good episode as i said man the series is it's getting better they picked they picked it up with everything in the second season and you can see from the performances that they, you know what I'm saying. The, the the acting was great in season one, but it's even better in season two. So, as if they could top that, right? You know. So it's like the situation that's happening. I can't wait for them to to kill y'all, Borg. Now, 
if we're gonna lose a major character during during that battle i don't know hopefully not i hopefully it doesn't happen i don't want to see I, I, right now in this moment there's no character that i would love to see die from our main cast except y'all bored everybody is doing an outstanding job um the scene there at the end you know close to the end with uh i think his name is ethelson or whatever the priest i can't remember his actual name i think it's ethelson i i don't remember but or how i let me not try the priest that they crucified in the end like that is not <laughs> something that christians do what was that i was like yo no you don't crucify people in jesus name no <laughs> If that's what they used to do back in the day, yo, that's, they did not get it <laughs> at all. <laughs> they didn't get it at all. I mean, the difference, you know, when it comes down to pagans and Christians is, is, um, I don't want to get into religious stuff because this is not what this channel is all about. We do can do, we can discuss that at a different time, but that was very off-putting for me because that's not i never expected that um i really didn't not you crucify criminals but not in jesus name like what he said was was like i was like huh no in the name of jesus christ no <laughs> so um glad that the king saved them though but he's gonna have those scars for life yeah now he's gonna literally be walking around with the scars that Jesus had, the, with the nails in his hands and in his foot. That's and they were about to pierce his side with the spear too. Um, so th that was kind of weird to me. You know what I'm saying? That was a scene that I didn't really take too kindly to. So it, it's more of like, it, it, in in my eyes if that's what they used to do back in the early days of christianity they were crucifying people in in, in the name of jesus christ i feel like that's just for the show's sake i don't think that that's what happened but if it is i'm pretty sure somebody's gonna let me know um i know crucifixion is a thing but it was never for christians who turned away from god it was never not that i recall anyways um but ragnar getting the news coming back to find to be reunited with his family and his first family that was dope i didn't expect them to come i didn't expect the guy to actually send lagertha with them you know what i'm saying like it looked like Lagertha took over the camp when he told her, hey, you treat me like, a, don't treat me like no whore. I kick you in the nuts every time, bro. Um, and the thing about it, too, the dude, the, the that Earl, he knows that if he kills Lagertha, he's pretty much dead. Because he's no Bjorn is coming for that ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And all Bjorn has to do is run away and go seek out his dad. That's all he has to do. And, you know, it's game over. And he knows that. So he's not going to mess around there. Um, so pretty cool stuff that happened this episode. Um, Rolo finding a new leash on life. I'm glad that he's moved past it to the understanding that, you know, he's always loved his brother. And it's, you know what I'm saying? Like him thinking that he was always in his shadow is really not the way to think. Because some people are always... You know, they're going to have their traits and what they're good at. And you're going to have traits about what you're good at. Yeah, you may be siblings, but at the same time, it will change. Um, those things can be different. You know what I mean? So, um, not a long review here, of course, man. This was pretty a, a pretty good episode. I liked it. So, moving on to the next episode. Hopefully, we can get that done before the end of the week. But thank you guys for listening as always man this was a really cool episode i liked it hope you enjoyed the reaction too it's your boy terror by reacts and i will see you guys for the next one peace